Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is uh, Mr. Munson here. And we're going to take a look at a perpendicular bisector compass construction. And uh, basically, a, a compass construction has the um, really cool opportunity for you to build things, but you're limited in the number of tools that you're allowed to use. So it's kind of like a, a puzzle, if you will, or, or challenge. So um, compass constructions have three tools, and you're only allowed to use these three tools at all times. A compass, a straight edge, and a pencil. That's it. You're not allowed to use a ruler. However, you may use your ruler uh, for your straight edge, but you can't use the markings on it, like to figure out lengths and things like that. It's just basically a straight edge, um, something to draw a straight line with. Uh, and those are your only three construction tools that you're allowed to use. So today we're going to look at that perpendicular bisector. So let's get started. I'm going to start with, first of all, um, just labeling this. Let's see, oh, we got perpendicular. Very good. A perpendicular bisector. And perpendicular bisector basically requires two things. It has to create something that's perpendicular that's going to create like a 90 degree angle. And a bisector is going to be something that cuts it into two congruent parts. So if that's three centimeters, this side would be three centimeters. Okay? So we're going to combine the two things. One, it's going to bisect it. Two, it's going to, that bisector is going to be perpendicular. So let's get started. Let me grab a arbitrary length of segment here. That looks good. We'll call this uh, A and B. So this is segment A, B. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my compass. And uh, I'm going to actually turn that back into a pointer. Okay. So I'm going to take my compass. And I'm going to put my compass so that it the pointed end, the part that would hurt if I poked you with it, I'm going to put that pointed end on, uh, in this case, B. I could have started over A just as well, no big deal. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my compass well over halfway. So just visually looking at my segment, I can tell halfway somewhere around there. So um, when I open up my compass, I'm just going to make sure that it comes out to a place, uh, you know, beyond halfway. Not real close, not, you know, way over. I like to look at it about 60%. You know, halfway is 50%. That's about 60%. And so um, now if you happen to have one of those uh, fabulous compasses that are flat, it's got a round rotation device on one end and uh, either a series of um, places, uh, points, or uh, cutouts for your pencil to fit in these little holes, fantastic. You're just going to pick a hole. You're going to put the rotation part and your finger on the B. Uh, and then you're going to put your um, your pencil inside one of the holes so that that hole is past that halfway mark. All right. So, and again, this could you could start over at A if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. And so now my next step is just basically I'm going to draw a uh, arc. Now, here's my first arc. And then I'm going to go over and do the exact same arc on the other side. So if I have a compass like the picture is, um, I'm not going to um, I'm not going to change the setting in any way. And I'm just going to put it right there. So now it's there. Now if I had again one of those flat um, compasses with the rotation, I'm going to pick the exact same hole. Okay. So let me strike my arc again. Now here's really important. This is uh, very important. When I strike these two arcs, they must meet down here. They have to touch. So if for some reason uh, they don't touch, you probably didn't, either didn't open it up wide enough or you didn't strike, strike the arc, arcs long enough to meet. So you'll have to go back and, and fix that. So make sure that you have those two places that they meet. Bring in your straight edge and draw your straight edge or line. And there you have it. Perpendicular bisector, I love it. Fantastically easy, easy to remember. You basically are creating like a football looking shape there in the middle, and you have it. Mark it, 90, mark it with that a little uh, square in the corners there. You don't have to worry about writing the 90 degrees. I just wrote that in there for your reference sake. Put those two little small little marks uh, on the left side and the right side, indicating the two pieces are uh, congruent and we have a perpendicular bisector. Um, now I'm going to show you a real quick um, 
uh, movie, another website where you can go to, if you look at the top here, you'll see it's at, um, at the address of mathopenref.com. -E Don't worry about the rest of it. When you get to that website, you'll see a list of compass constructions. Man, go ahead and take a look at all of them if you want to. If you love this stuff, um, there are some really brilliant uh, compass constructions there. This one is called the perpendicular bisector, of course. You can select it. And so I'm going to run it real quick and show you them doing it. Now, um, they don't do the full arcs. They only strike above and below. And uh, I like that just as well. I think it keeps your drawing nice and clean. But uh, you can do that whole arc if you want to and create like that football shape. And you can see in less than five seconds or so, they have themselves a perpendicular uh, perpendicular bisector construction. Take a look. Between the, the point P and J, they have a small little mark there that matches J through Q. A little mark on that side, left side, right side. And that indicates that things are congruent and then they drew their little box so I'm going to invite you to do that you're welcome to write in the 90 degrees but that little box is a internationally known signal for 90 degrees fantastic now you can go to the math open ref um, and watch that just repeat uh, you hit run and there's a place and you just watch it over and over until you got it practice that up come in tomorrow and be ready to do that construction take care everybody